Hello IT Superstars, welcome to the IT Superstar channel. My name is Alan and in today's video we are going to discuss subnetting IPv4 class C address. Uh, I will make several videos about subnetting because it's a very important topic not only for CCNA but also for your professional career and you really need to know this if you are uh, serious about your uh, IT career. So basically in this video I will cover uh, class C subnetting and then in the subsequent video I will talk also about uh, some theory behind subnetting, why we need it, etc. And I will cover a class B and class A uh, address and then we will also talk about uh, IPv6 etc. As I said I will be covering entire uh, CCNA, new CCNA uh, curriculum. But uh, I want to make this video relatively short and to the point, so let's proceed with uh, subnetting class C. So let's say we have uh, 192.168.1.0/24 and this slash 24 basically represents number of bits in the network portion of the IP address. So the default uh, mask slash 24 would be represented as 255.255.255.0 and then in binary this would be uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 so it would, it would be basically uh, each one of these numbers is a binary it, in binary is a octet, so we have four octets. So 192 is one octet, 168 is one octet, one is one octet, zero is one octet. And, uh, okay, let me just, uh, sorry, I need to format this cell to uh, text. So it will allow me to write one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight zeros. And uh, basically, when you convert all ones to, to decimal, you will get 255. So you will get 255 here, 255 here, 255 here. And then uh, you will get zero here because we have all zeros at the moment. So let's say we want to have, a, we want to have a seven subnets. We want to subnet this. At the moment, we have one, uh, one large network, which is... Uh, I mean, we have 256 addresses because uh, 0 to 255, but uh, two of these you always have to subtract two because first one is network ID. So 0 .1 sorry, dot one dot zero is network ID, and uh, dot one dot two fifty five would be broadcast. So these two are not usable and everything in between we can use. So from uh, dot one to dot two fifty four we can use. So that gives us uh, two fifty four usable uh, IP addresses. And instead of this, if we wanted to have uh, seven different subnets, maybe for seven departments or whatever, then uh, we can refer to my magic subnetting table or call it whatever you want I call it magic table and basically we need to go to the subnet column and we need to look for the number that is greater than the number of subnets that we need well greater or equal if we wanted eight subnets then we would choose eight but also if we want seven we would choose eight because eight is bigger than seven and can accommodate seven subnets and then we can uh, just highlight this column that we need. So we found the number of subnets that we need and what other information table provides us. Well, it uh, says that we need to borrow three bits from the host portion. And this is the host portion, as I said, the mask basically defines that uh, this first three octets are part of the network portions. And this is not something we can uh, touch, we can only manipulate the host portion. So in host portion, we have um, eight uh, bits, if you will, and uh, we need to borrow three of these bits. So we're going to change this three zeros to ones, one, two, three. 
and this will uh, leave us one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, now this is this is wrong. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we will be left with five uh, zeros for the hosts. And if you look at the table, basically, we will see that this is a slash seven cider notation mask that we need to borrow three bits, which will give us eight subnets and it will give us 32 hosts. So to do this, we can also calculate the new subnet mask here. And how do we do this? Well, starting from left to right, we're going to uh, calculate the, we're going to convert this binary to uh, decimals, and we would uh, basically uh, convert with, uh, <coughs> we would start with 128, then uh, 64, then 32. Let me, let, let me write this for you, so we would, uh, if we had the, uh, Let's say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we would start here with the 128, halving, then going to 64, then going to 32, then going to 16, and so on until we come to one at the end. And how do we uh, calculate the new uh, decimal subnet mask? Well, it's very easy. Uh, going, as I said, from uh, left to right, we will um, we have three three ones that we borrowed. So we have three ones, and these are the numbers that we are uh, going to calculate. We we will ignore the zeros. So we have three ones, and these are the three numbers. So 128 plus 64 plus 32 is equal to 224 so the so the new uh, new subnet mask would be 255 255 255 224 and what would this give us as we said we are going to this is a very important number number of hosts we are going to increment by 32 so the first uh, IP address, as I said, is 192.168.1.0. And then the second one in the range would be 192.168.1. And then what do you think? We said we are incrementing by 32, but since we started at zero, it will be 31. And then the next, so this would be the first subnet. And then the second subnet, would be, and I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna write 168. So 192.168.1 is a fixed part and the only last digit will change. So the last digit here is zero, here is 31. And here we can write dot 32. And then here we can write dot 63. Because remember, we are also counting 32. We started at zero, so 31. That's uh, 64. Uh, that, that's 32 uh, addresses. Then uh, 32 to 63. Then we'll have uh, 64 to dot 95. Then we will have uh, dot 96. We will have 96 to 127, and uh, what would be the next then? Uh, be 128 to 159, I believe. And if I made a mistake, I hope I won't. 159. Uh, we would have then here 160 to dot 191 and then we would have uh, 192 to dot uh, 223 and then we would have 224 to 
255 and you can never go higher than 255 because uh, as I said the uh, sum of all ones in an octet is 255 so you can never go higher than 255 so we have 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and that's it pretty much for uh, subnetting so if we were given an uh, IP address and we uh, we're told how many subnets we need. This is how we can use the table to calculate this. But I uh, just want to show you one more thing. Let's say if we have uh, another address, 192, 168, uh, I don't know, 156. And this is slash 30, for example. And we you know, we want to get some information out of this. So how do we proceed with, uh, you know, with this? How do we find out, you know, like important uh, informations? Uh, so the first thing that uh, we need to think is uh, what subnet mask this is. So in this case, it's slash 30 which means that out of this four octets, which uh, are total of 32, we used, uh, we used six bits for the network portion. We borrowed six bits for the network portion. So if we go here, borrowed bits is six. And six to the power of two is 64 which means that it would give us 64 usable, uh, sorry, it would give us 64 IP addresses. And what is left for the host portion is only two bits and two to the power of two, two times two is four, which means we would get uh, four IP addresses and two usable IP addresses, because as I said first, and uh, last is always, uh, first is a network ID and the last is broadcast. So in our case, range would start, uh, we would uh, be basically 64 uh, subnets and then the range would be four. So it would be 0 0.3 and so on. Okay, I hope you this I hope this is clear for you. And if you have any questions, please uh, post them uh, in the comments below. And uh, if you would like to see some more explanation about subnetting, uh, just uh, add any questions, as I said, in the comments below. And please uh, like, share, and uh, subscribe. There's more uh, videos to come every week. And uh, I'll be covering uh, different topics. Thank you for viewing and uh, see you in the next video.